All right, the engine's on. Um, it's not bolted on tight. I just have it, you know, mocked up. But that's pretty much how it's going to go on. I'm, I am super glad that it came with this piece here. Otherwise, I will have to fabricate a piece for this. It just made my life easier. So if you do go with a 79cc engine, I think they come with those plates. Bigger engines don't come with those plates. I think it's only just the 79cc's. But I am super glad it came out. So now I get to mount the jack shaft. So the, I'm going to put a piece of metal, flat stock, right here along the bottom. Just so it can weld it to this bearing hanger. I mean, my bad, bearing washer. And the sprocket will go right here. And I got, looks like I'm going to have good chain alignment. So that's all good. I really think that is the best place to put the jack shaft. Anywhere else, so it all the chain may hit the frame here or you get it will get caught up in your legs. What I'm more concerned about is under here. That's going to be a very tight fit. Hopefully, it doesn't rub on this. Um, hopefully. If not, I could just put the flat stock up top here and then mount this on top of the flat stock so this axe this axle doesn't hit and rub on this or the um the cassette so that's where i'm at i'm almost there all right i just got the clutch today um i got it from go power sports and this is a 40 41 or 420 chain for a 5 8 shaft so it'll fit my engine just fine um this clutch feels pretty damn solid it's actually it looks pretty well the clutches that i'm used to using uh i get from amazon they're about like 17 to 20 25 30 bucks at most this one was like 34 bucks but i could tell this is pretty well made when you shake it around oh. There's no play in it. Usually with the cheaper clutches you can do this and you'll feel you'll hear a little slop in it. This has little to no slop. Yeah. And it, and it turns real smooth, so I think that's well well spent on a clutch. This is probably the best clutch I can get. Um so I'm gonna go and now make the bracket for the jack shaft. So when if you're doing a project, whether it's a go-kart mini bike, you don't want to use a cheap clutch. Again, cheap clutches being like seventeen to twenty-five dollars, you kind of don't you want to avoid them. Uh, I never had a clutch go out on me, but I just I was just lucky. Usually the cheap, real cheap clutches go out pretty quick, within a month or two. Now I don't know if this is a bushing, if there's a bushing in here, or if it's a needle bearings like I said it, it it spins real smooth it spins real smooth um, the drum looks a little wider too versus all the other clutches that I had they all um, like I said there was a lot of play in it on all the other clutches uh, but for this build I, I wanted to do something a little bit more higher quality so yeah you don't want to use a cheap clutch just go ahead and save yourself save yourself the headache and just get a a good quality clutch also you want a clutch you want to look out for but uh, if you want to find out if the clutch is either a bushing type or a uh, needle bearing type you don't you want to go with the needle bearing you don't want to do the bushing the bushing wears out a lot quicker the the bearing uh, the needle bearing is uh, let's say more durable the bushing you will it will fail eventually. Yes, it's a lot cheaper. The bushings usually come with the cheaper clutches. I don't think there is a twenty dollar clutch that has a needle bearing, but if you can get your hands on a needle bearing type clutch, get that one. Don't avoid the bushing ones.
Yeah, I hate drilling holes. I think that I need a new drill bit. Those drill bits are toast. I'd rather be grinding than drilling holes. I hate drilling holes. Especially that little that little bench press. Little drill press, not bench press. <laughs> 